Next is 107 on your list. This is Ilex latifolia, the luster leaf holly. So uh, for those of you, um, uh, most of you probably not familiar with this species, it doesn't really evoke what you uh, immediately think of as a holly. So it's got large leaves that are more reminiscent of a common cherry laurel than uh, of a holly, but a few ways that are very, very easy to tell that this is a holly. Number one, this happens to be a female behind me, so it does have the typical large red uh, uh, fruit of a, um, of a holly. It also uh, alternately arranged leaves, and at the base of each leaf there's going to be a tiny black triangular stipule. That is a dead giveaway for hollies. Uh, uh, every holly has it. It may be extremely tiny and you have to search for it, but it's going to be there. Also, this has um, these coriaceous leaves and they um, have serrate, or not serrate, uh, sorry, spinose teeth that are regularly arranged along the margin and each one of them is, uh, does have a, a small black tip to it. And they're a little more coriaceous and sharp uh, spinose tooth uh, than what you find like in a, in a, in a common cherry laurel. So um, it's not a really common plant, but I like this use of it behind me where it's limbed up. You actually get to see uh, the nice smooth gray bark in a luster leaf holly. And a, there's clearly a uh, pollinizer around somewhere because we have fruit on this one. So uh, again, not, not super common, but I like, uh, I, I like having this uh, mixed into the landscape. That's uh, Ilex latifolia.